Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is Still Jesus is Coming. Now it's the time to restore the altar. Now it's the time to act in the spirit of Elijah, to restore all things. Because Elijah is the forerunner of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But because we have several raptures, or what we call the first event in escape, the second the rapture of the church, and the third the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on the Mount of Olives, because of these events, we have a different timeline that many people think. Many people think that seven years and in half of it, and then three and a half, and all this is not correct. We have a 14 years, we have seven years seal tribulation, and we have seven years trumpet tribulation, and then at the end, the bowls, the wrath of God. And our Lord and Savior will come down with Mount Zion, the holy mountain, to, to the earth at the sixth seal. Just read the sixth seal and you can understand that something is coming down that the people will see, and from what they are hiding in the mountains. In the earthly mountains because they see something and somebody coming they see the one coming that is sitting on the throne what is Abba father and the lamb of the God of, of the lamb of God who is Jesus Christ so it's our time now to restore the altar to its former glory it's our time now to come together in love unity and support and it's our time now because Jesus is right at the door now. He is coming now for his 40 days on earth where he will collect things of bread. Next week it will start and will go until the end of December. Because in 2020 the war will start, famine will start and uh, death and Hades will come. The seals will be opened. Now he, Jesus himself, will be the white rider of Revelation 6 and he will be here on earth for 40 days to collect his bride. So now is the time for you to fall on your knees, to lay flat on the floor and pray as you have never prayed before. If you are not very close to the Lord and if you are not talking to him every day, during the whole day, then you will, then you will miss him. Talk to him. Repent, repent. The kingdom is at hand. Right now it is at hand. Open up your mind, open up your heart, and receive Jesus Christ. His Spirit will come. He will not be here physically. His Spirit will come to collect His bride. Because it's not physically, it's spiritually. The Lord has said that many times to many prophets that it's not physically, but spiritually. So now is the time to step forward in our spirit of Elijah and to restore the altar to its former glory to bring back the first assemblies of Christians who were standing during persecution. Because now persecution will come again. It will come again because the Antichrist will get rule very soon. And then the churches will stand again under persecution. So now we have to come together, modeled after the, the assemblies in the book of Acts. Acts 2 where they come together in love, unity and support, where they share resources, where they support one another, and where they help the needy, the nameless, the faceless and the children. Now it's the time to bring them together. Now it's the time to step forward. Restore the altar to its former glory. Tell you that again. Let us come again to Mount Carmel and draw the line now and say, you have to choose now. Either you choose the world and Satan and the Antichrist, or you choose God and then you come out of the world and out of Babylon. You have to choose right now. Make a wise choice. Otherwise, you can lose your eternal life and you will go to the lake of fire. Elijah has called the people on Mount Carmel to make a decision. So I'm calling you right now to make a decision. Come out of the world and out of Babylon. Build the dwelling places of Zion. Gather the children of Zion into the assemblies. Empower them. Send them out into the neighborhoods to bring in the harvest of the ages. Jesus is here. He is here. He is knocking at your door. And you have to open. 
you have to let him in. His spirit is uh, here right now for 40 days until the end of December. This is your time to pray. Pray, pray as you have never prayed before. Repent and change your life and come out of the world. Make a statement for the heavenly kingdom right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come right now. Praise to, to God the Father that he has sent his only begotten son right now to fetch his bread. The time is here. Watch what will happen within the next week, to the end of the next week. 18, 19, 21, 22, 23 of November. See what will happen. And then the 40 days have started until the end of December. Then a great ascension will happen and the Lord will go with his bride to the third heaven. And what happens if you remain now? What happens if you do not go because you have missed this opportunity? Then we are here for you. I know that I have to remain. Personally, I know. God has told me many times. He has given me vision over and over and over again that my mission will just start when the bride will go. But I'm doing it because I love him. I love him so much. And I will do the extra mile for him. Even if it will cost my life and if I stand against the Antichrist and will chop off my head, I will do it because I love him. But you, people, pray, repent right now, because you can be taken to the third heaven with him together. He is here. Jesus is here. And he will knock at your door. So let him in. Thank you, Jesus, that you come for your bride. Thank you that you take as many people as you can. Thank you that you take them to your father's house, as you have promised. Because there, your bride, a bride without spot and wrinkle, a perfect bride. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, Father. And thank you, brothers and sisters, that you have listened to this topic. I will come every day now and remind you that we have to restore the altar. Please watch the videos, follow it. New events will happen, new visions will come forth. It is important now to stay as close as possible. Please repent, people. Do not believe in what the other people say. You do not have to repent. Repent, repent as you have never repented before and change your life. God is here. Jesus is here. He is here for his bride. Are you worthy to be accounted? Are you accounted worthy to be taken out of this place so that you do not experience those things that will come onto the earth? Pray, pray that Jesus will come to you. Pray that he will collect you. Pray that he will take you. That he will accept you in his mercy and kindness as your bride. Thank you that you have listened to this topic. I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.